Welcome back to Dimensions DIY. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to build a simple headboard using only hand tools. Things you'll need for this project is a paint stick and a liner, some water-based poly and a foam brush, some black paint with a foam brush, some two inch screws, an orbital sander, which is optional, a razor blade or knife used to cut tape, some painter's tape, a cordless drill, and if I can get it this level, to build this project we used three sheets of two by four foot plywood, three quarters inch thick. This thickness is perfect for furniture applications because it can take weight. The boards we bought were a little rough so we used an orbital sander to touch them up and give them a smooth finish. Okay, now let's frame this thing together. Lay the sheets face down, then lay the two x four braces on top. We centered our two x fours on the back using a tape measure. Now since we bought 2 by 4 eighths, they are way too long for this headboard, so we cut ours to 58 inches long using a handsaw. 58 inches was perfect because it stretched the length of this project and held all the plywood together in one solid piece. This project was so big we had to zoom out just to get it within the frame. You could just stop here and use the headboard as is, but we wanted to add a little modern element to this project so we figured painting shapes in it would give it a nice geometric modern look. Specifically, we thought rhombuses crawling across this project would look great. So we had the bright idea to tape the entire board, mark all our shapes out, and then cut out the spaces we wanted to paint with the razor blade. Ideally, we should have just outlined the spaces we wanted to paint with tape and then painted them. This would have saved us a few hours if we had done it this way, so learn from our mistakes. After we finished taping and cutting, we painted the entire thing black and then put on three coats of water-based poly for protection. To install this, you can attach it to the wall behind your bed through the studs, or you can add legs to it based on the height of your bed and then screw it into your bed frame. For all the products we used in this video, check the description below and we'll see you next time for another Dimensions DIY 